So this used to be where the old shop house ends. Uh-huh. And then from there on was a piece of concrete land. Uh-huh. And then when we took over the property, there was a, a container sitting right at the center. A container? A container, yes. What, what do you mean? Like a shipping container? Yes. Yeah. Why because was I, it there? I thought the, the old bookstore, they have uh, run out of space. So mm-hmm. they actually brought in a container for additional storage space. Uh-huh. So this used to be a... A container? Yes. Yeah. Was it concrete? Uh, it was made of steel. Yeah. So, so this is our, where? Our first thought was to keep the container and then work around it. So maybe subconsciously it gave us an idea of what to do. Yeah. But eventually we found that it's, it's not that feasible because to make it livable, you need to air condition it. Otherwise you have to create a lot of openings for natural ventilation. And that becomes uh, almost impossible and the whole container would be like loses its meaning but what we did is that we remove the concrete and make it turn it into a garden state whereby this single story structure sits and from here you you only see the first cubicle but it follows with five other cubicles Uh with uh, living areas big rooms and washrooms in uh, that in this bunker? In this series of uh, spaces. I see. Let's... So, can you explain what is in here again? So, the first cubicle is more like a reading lounge. That, that's to relate the semi public space to relate to this garden. Mm-hmm. What else? Yes. And further behind are the washrooms. Uh, I don't need to go in there. Yeah, you just just tell Most me what. Rooms and bedrooms. There are two bedrooms, uh. which can be accessed from the front as well as from the side. Okay. So that's to cater for flexibilities, because mm. uh, during the course of construction, my clients have uh, different needs, changing needs. And then in the end, we end up with something that's uh, that could be made flexible with time, so that whoever occupies the two rooms can be accessible from either from the side or from the front. Uh-huh. Uh-huh.